Hi and welcome to this video that has actually been requested uh, of me uh, showing you people how to do more fancy, more beautiful parks in Jurassic World Evolutions 2, which is kind of tricky when you start out. Uh, I've been focusing most of my channel playing sandbox because that's what I find most fun. And um, since a lot of people coming in now playing, uh, they can play an unlocked version of Sandbox that wasn't there from the beginning. So, a lot of people want to start out that way. So, I did first I did a video talking about um, uh, talking about how to get a functioning park, which you still need to kind of do if you want to play it, uh, and how you set up the Sandbox rules and whatnot. And also, some people liked my designs in the parks that I do, I wanted to see how to do that. So we're going to go through a couple of steps of that. Uh, I'm going to put in a list uh, here over me uh, with uh, the only mod that I use. I only use the expandable terrain mod, uh, the terrain tool, which uh, I recommend because it makes terrain editing a little bit easier. But you, you can do all this um, basically without that one as well. Uh, so no other fancy stuff uh, than that, really. It's just um, uh, it's just the base game, otherwise. So let's start a new sandbox. I usually I like to do Isla Nublar. Uh, it got the best, you know, terrain with the uh, rainforests and stuff like that. Um, gonna do this doesn't really matter because I'm just gonna show how to do stuff uh, all right start game yeah whatever so we start an empty map and I can show you a little bit how you can do it um, so what you want to do is you want to kind of master um, terrain a little bit to be able to make cool parks so here we are Isla Nublar All right, so let's go to, this is usually the beginning area. So we, we're gonna set up a functioning park in a way, um, just to have it done so that uh, so that we get the whole picture with roads and how you work roads in, with terrain and stuff like that. Uh, so here you got, the first thing I do is go to the environment tab that you see over here. Uh, and usually I clean up, so I usually, open up uh, go up in the bars here and you're gonna see that this is the mod doing its thing I get got bigger radius uh, range uh, and more intensity range I think that we can do this so I usually clean up a little bit uh, this is to be able to design the entire map for myself later so let's do uh, right so we're gonna set up I'm gonna do an entirely, entirely new idea here uh, that I haven't done. We get, well, it's not entirely new, but I always thought of it uh, afterwards. Uh, I started in the other ones, uh, so I'm gonna try to make it a little bit better. So we're gonna try to use this. You see this uh, narrow path, this bottleneck here. We're gonna try to use that as a nice way to build like a portal into the park for everyone to come in. Uh, so we're gonna set up, go to operations and set up a an arrival point. I usually use the one from Jurassic Park because it's just nice. Uh, we put that here, I think. We can build around this later. You can do really nice stuff down here. Uh, so we're gonna do that later, maybe. And we build... Uh, it's gonna take a motor. All right, so I'm gonna go with the main ferro there from here. I'm gonna go. Remember to press shift in order to uh, make bendy roads. They look way nicer. All right, now we gotta start for the park here. Nice, nice. Now I'm going to focus. So one thing you want to do is you want to kind of 
put some time and effort into it. Um, so let it take its time to make it nice. Uh, don't rush it. So we we don't have any good walls, really. We have the fence. We can try that. So we got the fences. We go with the solid one. I usually go with that one. Try to make a really good portal. So I, I think that we can follow this one. We can put it right there. And then we can do... And we put it as close to the border as possible. See, does this doesn't look remarkable now, does it? No? That's because it isn't. So, with um, the mod that we... Uh, no, with, with the update that you got 8 on Mars, uh, Mars uh, that you're all going to be able to use. We have now independent placeable trees uh, that we're going to use a little bit here. We're going to cover up the stay wall a little bit. Uh, this, of course, alone is going to feel a little stale. I'm going to show you. So just gonna make a welcoming entrance to the park, really. So we go back to decorations. You're gonna spend a lot of time in decorations. Get used to the items that, we <laughs> that you got there. I feel like that's a little bit far off, but whatever. Yeah, I thought so should be able to place it closer well we can just move it i think to a better location and now all of a sudden oh uh, maybe we should fix that that looks like crap so a lot <laughs> a lot of the work is going to go into fixing small details like that uh since a lot of it is uh wrong tab trees but what you really have to do is go through all the small details. Now we got some pretty decent entrance, right? This looks pretty decent. We can go first person. Yeah, that look, looks pretty cool. Gonna make it a little bit more appealing though. So what you're gonna do is go to environment. And you're gonna go down to the rock section down here. And we're gonna go with tropical rocks because we're a tropical island. Uh, these rocks, with the mod at least, you can place them literally everywhere. So even in red parts. So we're going to sheet a little bit. So if you can't do it, you have to try to match them up a little bit. What you can do with rocks, because all the rocks are random, if you press space, you get another angle to, s uh, to spin them around. That's a pretty good tip for angling them correctly. And we... Gonna put some rocks between the trees here. Do, 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 do. Go. Go, do, 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 do. There we go. That looks pretty good. And then we go back to dec decorations to the trees and we got smaller plants to put in here. We're going to do that. So we're going to try to jam them in between the rocks. As good as, as good as we can. This game isn't nice to you a lot when it comes to placement. So try to do your best. That's, that's really all we can do. There we go. That looks pretty good, right? I'm gonna... To make it a little bit more realistic, uh, we're gonna go get some dirt in the environment section. Put down radius. Uh, we're gonna put it a little bit here. Around the wall, so it, so it kind of looks like it's been built on here, you know? Yeah, that looks pretty good, I think. 
can dot it around a little bit to make it less intense. I usually do this around entrances to buildings to make it look more like it's uh, altered. Uh, there we go with that, and then we can. Ah, let's go to. Grassland shrubs you can use. That didn't work out too well, but it makes it a little bit more alive. Looks pretty good right now, actually. Uh, I think it looks decent, at least. Well, there's one way to use that place. Uh, let's say we're gonna build it's just basically just take your time you see this looks kind of bad because you can't build here right it looks kind of bad when you can't cut it off correctly usually I try to f make that disappear a little bit but trying to see if I can get a rock in here somewhere but it seems like it not gonna work there all right so yeah let's make uh, an amenity we people want to eat um, so one one thing that I did in <laughs> some of my videos was to actually make some some kind of square where people can sit uh, and you do that but basically doing First you go like this, and then you see you got the attachment point of the main road here. You're gonna go make a bendy like that, make another bendy like that, make another bendy like that. And then you just continue with that until you got the entire area here covered. Congratulations, you're gonna have a town square, or whatever you want to call it, uh, to have people sit in and uh, enjoy their meal or whatever there we go nice that's a pretty good one um, then we place an amenity and uh, yeah this counts as a road so you can attach the amenity immediately on there nice let's make that two amenities we make a drink one too there nice now you go to decorations up to this one and you get tables you got the tables here you got the uh, fountains we place a fountain in the middle of this one I think that would be nice very nice and then you play place go place tables around it Okay, that's pretty nice right uh, yeah so things you can do now is also can work with uh, various of these items to get even nicer looks I'm gonna place um, this one right here and this one right here Do the same for this place, I think. This this won't look nice on its own. We will fix that eventually. Dun, 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 dun. And then just keep on building stuff like that. You have to look for various things, like you can make fences. try to match them up yeah this is time-consuming I promise you 
that looks kind of bad. <laughs> not gonna lie. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, well, try to match it up better. There we go. Ah. Uh. Uh. Looks pretty good. And you can do this all over the place. So just These here are tips or tricks to, you know, lighten up the environment because this doesn't really do a lot for the park rating and stuff like that, but it's always nicer to play in a park that doesn't look like an industrial hellscape. So uh one more. Let's play this one more here. There we go. That looks nice. And since it's an entrance here, let's say, we go like here. There, we take the lights. Nice. And you do try to line it up. The game isn't always nice with this either, I must say. There, we have an entrance. Then go back to these. Sometimes you get better varieties on how to angle these. I don't know why the game loves to do this shit to you, but it's gonna love it. Looks like crap. All right, let's. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> but you got Im individual trees, so if you don't want to line up shit like that, you can always go here and go to individual trees and just line them up uh, as a fence that on their own. You don't have too much variety in the details of stuff to use, but I like to uh, try to utilize it. So I'm using this square to show off several ways to square it off and make entrances. So we're gonna continue that one over there. It was just gonna do this side first. There we go. Nice. And then you can go to environment, to the rocks. And we go down to tropical rocks because that's where we are. And yeah, this was a particularly bad rock. So you can fix it a little bit by doing that nice and we place it there nice and then you just build on with rocks like this and you got your own little fence right
go. Right. Oh, I just noticed we got some bad terrain here. Uh, I'm gonna fix that. Go to terrain, and then you go to race to um, yeah. You can race terrain, low terrain, flatten terrain, smooth terrain. And we're gonna do flatten here because we want the flat surface. Yeah, since we have the buildings on here, it's not gonna be perfect in that sense. But do this before in beforehand, and it gets better. There we go. And then you want to ma maybe have some lights within the area. So. And we're going to put some foliage around these. And in order to make these extra uh, um, extra lights to the square, you can always go to the buildings themselves and change uh, ground decorations, for example. You can have uh, the lights, I think. Yes, there we have. Modern lights we can have. Or yeah, let's take modern lights. And we take on here too. Uh, modern lights and another trick in the buildings you can do is actually go here and lights and you change the color to white or blue or whatever you want let's let's make them blue let's make them like baby blue something like that that would, that, that would be cool Let's do that here too. Lights, that one. And there we go. Now we can look at this at night. And it looks really nice, right? And gonna do a little bit of a show thing here uh, while we're at it uh, so I'm gonna switch today again because I want to show you the differences uh, let's see yeah, and I realized that this is going to be a lot to do in a big park. So I usually do it section-wise. I start and when I, whenever I struggle with ideas, you know, I go to the next place and start there. And then I can go back with new ideas when I tried some other stuff uh, on other places. So yeah, it's a, yeah, it, I know it's a lot. <laughs> Trust me, I know. It takes a lot of time. Um, but it's may, maybe it's easier for you to learn how to do it. If you, if I show you a little bit on how, how it can be done, how you can manipulate the terrain and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to, so now we're on day cycle again. So we're going to make a little uh, monument or something here for the park. So we go to the environmental and we go to there and race terrain. We minimize the radius. Uh, we maximize the, s we don't maximize the slope. We do those like that, and I'm gonna that's a little bit high. This is ridiculous, but wait, I'm gonna fix it. Don't worry. Then you go to flatten 
Uh, I see now that I don't have the contours on. Uh, can I get? It? Can I do it here? All oh, right, there. There you go. So you see the various levels here, right? So you can. So if you go to flatten, you can take one of the levels that you want, right? You can flatten it out. Oh no! Things happen. Yes. Oh wait. We can fix this too. It's gonna be a lot of this, people. A lot of fucking around like this. I promise. <laughs> Alright, so now we have a little mountain. So now we're gonna carve out a little bit. Since we have the slope on the high, uh, we can basically force the mountain inwards without removing anything, really. So we can, like, make a small dent in it like this boink 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 all right now we have a green mountain no one likes that so we're gonna paint this one up and we go to the paintbrush we choose rock radius whatever intensity high and you paint it Now I kind of wish I didn't have the lines on again. There we go. Oh no, I had them anyways when I paint. Fuck. Right. All right. Here we go. Might have to remove some tree foliage. As you see, as it kind of ghosts the mountain. There we go. Nice, right? And now we want to make an altar or whatever. Uh, we go here, take the Spinosaurus, I think. Place it like that. Place some... Uh, some torches by it. That looks all right. We take some pterodactyls. Hmm. We could change these a little bit. Wait. I think that looks better. There we go. And in front of that one, we place a smaller fountain. Oops, not that one. Maybe. We we'll place some lights around that one. That would look alright. And then we go to the trees again. Take some fancy tree that you want to decorate this area with. One thing that I want in this game is waterfalls. Uh, I sadly can't do them right now, but that would be awesome. That looks pretty alright. Uh, I'm gonna do some smaller ones in here, maybe.
I'm just looking for a free space to put him. That looks a little better, and I think we're gonna add some shrubberies here. We got a little bit more living area. Blue plants. I think this would look pretty cool if we go to night setting. <laughs> Hell yeah! Looks badass. And this is what we made with the little things that I showed you. It's uh, remarkably easy if you think about it. Uh, but I also say that, yeah, it is difficult to learn this stuff, but basically just dot out details um, and let it take time. It just, just let it take time. Don't rush anything. This looks pretty good. This, uh, this looks pretty decent for this quick of a job. Here's the entrance. You can go through here. Do, 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 do. And then you can see the big Spinosaurus fossil. With the flames and all the lights and all the green around it. In front of that little mountain that we made. So thank you for watching. Uh, this is the first one in the series that I will make, I think. So let me know what you think. Bye.